Hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle playset review, and today's of which is on the biggest of the 2007 line, the Toa Terrain Crawler from 2007. And so on the front of the each manual, which first time of there being two separate ones in various sets, which carry to the vehicle sets the following year, or following two years actually. So on the front cover, we just see a picture of the whole set in action with the bit of Mari Nui in the background, Bonkle logo, Toa Terrain Crawler, and the Bonkle.com logo logo, and set number 8927. And on the back of the first one, or you see just out of the three Titan sets from the time, and then big large out of all the Baraki, and large out of all the Toa Mari. And then some steps in that. And then second booklet on the back part of which big large add of all the play sets and all the boxes for them. Let's see, add of Lego Club and how to win on the online survey. Add for bonk.com, of course. And then Maybe like kind of crazy alternate build of it. And also a realistic picture of the set. And around this time is when they kind of gave up on alternate builds. Of course. And then see the pieces that come with the set, of which is two pages, and then the last step. For the mini figs is, since of course you have just four of the Baraki of which, and as you see, Predak and Takadox's heads are quite the same. When I think they should have made some new headpiece for Predak, since it does not like it in the actual set. But also these mini figs, about the same as the 2006 ones, but with different kind of arm pieces rather than the Exoforce arms, of course. And as Kalma, which should have a dark red torso piece rather than this silver one, which the actual set has. And I don't get why Mantax has the gold uh, body piece rather than when it should be black, which the actual set is. And flip around and got all six Toamari. Being Kongu, Huki, Jaller, Holler, or Holly, and Matoro, and Nuparu. And as you do have a couple of repeat head molds, like Nuparu's, same as Holly's, and also Matoro's, same as Kongu's, but although their head pieces about perfect for that of Nuparu when they just didn't want to bother with that. And Jaller's, of which is the same as Huki's, when should be an all different one kind of piece. But besides that, a good selection of mini things. But I wish they could have included uh, Elac and uh, Carapar. Kind of a bummer that why they didn't do one of Carapar and would have the complete collection of the Baraki or in mini fig form. Unless if you count the one in the uh, Toa Undersea Attack one. Since, of course, this set is supposed to be the same as Paraka Stronghold of this year, where all the characters were together. And, yeah. First for the builds is this little uh, jellyfish, which is about the same as in uh, Baraki Deep Sea Patrol. And then next is this one Wahi event. Which, as you see, is made of a couple of odd uh, technic bits to it, and also these little bat wings that we've seen on earlier Batmobiles. And also dinosaur tail, of course, and a couple of spikies above. And big highlight of which are the Tachydox blades in a white and black mix, so which, and also Tachydox head in white. So good for El Bio Tachydox, or even a minifig replica Predac, of course. And then also get this other Rahi, which has a Karapara Nocturne's 
a headpiece, but in a white and black mix as well. Uh, and also the same pincher pieces as all the Baraki and the lower jaw, also comprised of another one in white, also good for mocking, yeah. And the uh, front back part of which, just large plate with a couple jumpers to fit whatever minifig you want onto it. And I'm not sure if it's me, but and I do believe this is probably the first time of us having these uh, ball joint bricks into or ball socket joint bricks in sets. So maybe they were in other sets earlier. Not sure, or but whatever. But besides that, I have two different Mata arms and. One bottom one has white Onua Mata claws and tops of which have uh, light staves, of course. And this one, of which quite kind of cool little build, of course. And now, next build with is the Toa Terrain Crawler itself, of which quite cool build. It does look just about almost like it does in the Mari Mini video that they used to travel through the tube to get underwater. water. That's for the front head area, which is this big, large, specific piece that looks just about like the Kenohi Faxon Holly Mari's mask, but large and in black, of course. And the side walls of which comprise of Paraviserac pinchers and Kalma's tentacles in black. But unfortunately, they just fall right off, fall down quite easily. Unless if you could figure out how to get them to stay. And also, you got Mantax's uh, uh, pinchers to the sides. Not sure why. But besides that, you can like, maybe rip uh, it all off and have a couple of studs represented as buttons, but wish they should include a couple of slopes and acting as a console, and have a couple jumpers to fit your pair of minifigs onto, of course. And that's for this middle section, and also you can slither it, which, of course, with the ball joint bricks in there. Has this middle section, which is kind of hectic, where has some more of those viscerac pinchers and Marini Matorn daggers that can fold right on down, probably acting as little feet or, or something. And on the top part, of which oh, it is just a simple Korak blaster with a few bits to it and a technique beam that holds a plate that. Where you can set a mini fig onto and shoot right off with it, like so. Of course, these blasters are which quite fun to shoot with, but although kind of heavy on a character, of course, at least until the thorax launchers. Thing. And as for the middle section, which has these red tubes around some technic bits acting as hatches that you can like. Hold on now, so like that. Actually, unfortunately, with the can't open all the way unless if you turn them up and do that. And the mill section have extra Korak ammo and also a couple of Zamersphere extensions that hold the solidified air bubbles in. And above that, have this little uh, robotic arm that can swivel in and out and is on a ball joint and since it's a tightened leg piston you can extend that out and has a few axle force arms as fingers to oh, whoops, hold a solidified air bubble on too. Oops, sometimes these spikes can fall out from it kind of easily. Oops. And then as for this uh, far back section, which has those large 
uh, paneling or large holy panels that, which held on some like curved slopes and also a couple of borak eye borak teeth there and also an empty pot case too and what i would kind of did was store the ammunition and sea squids into it so they don't get lost even though they're probably there to fill out the scenery and a couple of also have another red tube so a few red tubes included in this set and this mining of torn blade I would have to assume is probably like a back fin or back guided fin, back rudder or something and the main feature of this is can lift the lead it up on both sides and get this little speeder that folds out fins of marine limitorium blades of course and also hand that it holds a solidified air bubble on and of course in the short video Mator Matoro uh, can and saying off you go creep and suddenly drives it into Gadunka's mouth of course and does fit in quite secure, nice securely, with the two uh, large plates and tiles there. As the back section, we do have another one of those uh, dome pieces, and also a couple of Technic panels and more of those blades there, and three of the long tails, kind of like in the uh, tall undersea attack set but with all these different tails to it as well oh, so now on to the final verdict on this overall verdict this I think really cool just really cool set and of course the terrain crawler was shown in the Mari mini video which means that it did have a part in the canon storyline obviously because it's what they used to go through the long tube from Voyanui to Mari Nui of course but although instead of this Rahi include a second one of this so you can recreate that scene from the mini video of them but besides that, but other than I can forgive that, since of course always good to get different uh, mocking pieces, obviously. And of course the two Rahis did provide that. And as for the minifig selection, is I wish they could have included the other two Barakis so they have complete sets of them in minifig form, of course. And if you're still looking to get this set for your collection, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And if you still have this from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.